Ah, no, it was the blood, I know, it was the blood, I know, it was that blood for me. One day when I was lost, God laid him on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. They say it was a rambling word. They say it was a rambling word. They say it was a rambling word for me. One day when I was lost, God nailed him on the cross. And I know it was that blood for me. People, for us, whatever the Christ did, he did it for humanity. He didn't pick through humanity and find some ones that he loved. He didn't do that. Whatever God did on the cross, he did it for humanity. Therefore, we should all be celebrating Easter. Even the ones who don't believe in Jesus Christ, whatever, it was done for you. It was done for all humanity. Correct? How y'all doing? Ooh, this neck, honey. Uh-uh. My neck has been bothering me for a solid month. How you doing? She talked too much. Happy Easter. Mm. Jacqueline Johnson. Happy Easter. I hope y'all had a lovely Easter. All I did was go to church and recognize my God for what he did for us, all of us. I don't know why humanity has to always find some kind of, some shit to hate on. Some shit to say, I'm better. God loves me better than you. God, I'm not, you're not God's best. I'm God's best. Yes, I beat my wife. Yes, I cheat on her. Yes, I steal. Yes, I cheat on my taxes. Yeah, I do everything. But God loves me best. My loves me best. It's bullshit. So the peoples, what I see when I come out of church, there's a controversy because uh, the uh, transgender day of, uh, what is it? What is it called? I want to get it right. Visibility. Transgender day of visibility falls on the 31st of March. Correct. It has been uh, falling on the 31st of March for years, many years. Correct. All it's simply saying is that we want to recognize that these people exist. Can we do that much, people? Can we put down our hatred for a few goddamn hours, girl, and just say, you exist. I recognize that you're a person. So they're, they're, uh, they're pissed off now because that day uh, happened on the same day as Easter Sunday, right? And they think nobody should acknowledge Transgender Day of Remembrance or Visibility because it happens to be on the same day as Easter. Baby, you can celebrate anything. You can celebrate a goddamn second, whatever. You can celebrate anything. It's not going to change Easter, honey. I, myself, Timothy Blank, I was born on Easter Sunday, 1958. Somebody put a chart up there. I think it's only happened two times since I was born. I'm 66 years old next week. 66 years old at Easter Sundays. Come on my birthday twice. Correct. So what these hateful ass people, it seems to be Republicans, but whoever hates hateful ass people, they keep trying to uh, to hate on these people who probably represent one percent, one percent of the population or a quarter of a percent or something like that. Right. It's always the pal on. Oh, this has got stuff. This is opposite from Jesus. This is uh, they've got nothing to do with Jesus Christ did on the cross. Like he said, it is finished. It is finished for one. I ain't going to sit come up and say, it's finished for the Jews. It's finished for the blacks. It's finished for the Chinese. It's finished. No, it is finished. It's done, honey. I fixed it for you. So you can go on being the nasty ass bitches you, for the rest of a goddamn eternity. I fixed it. God decided that it required a blood sacrifice for there was no remission of sin without a blood sacrifice. I became the sacrifice for the world. Correct, accepted, everything on this planet. 
they not, none more holy than the other ones, honey. Some have made it this their, their vocation, so they will present that they are holy to everybody else. Oh, what about the children? What about the children? Suffer the little children, let them come unto me. Now, how in the hell did that become the, the primary issue of the New Testament or the Bible? Right? How did heterosexuality become the primary issue in the Bible? Right? And trans trans people is not even issue of sex because you can be a trans person and never had sex in your life. I'm a homosexual. I don't have sex with nobody. I'm still a homosexual. Why is it so hard for people to simply accept that these people are part of your communities? They pay the exact same taxes as everybody else, child. Why is it so hard? Now you got to have a controversy. And then you got this damn woman, Caitlyn Jenner, which I don't think I've ever come after her. But Caitlyn Jenner, I saw when you had your little reality TV show and the girls were taking you around San Francisco and I believe around Los Angeles, West Hollywood or something like that. And they were saying, there's an issue. Because Caitlyn Jenner still has the mindset of a, of, a, of a straight white man, correct? By choosing to stick to the Republican Party, she's holding on to those values, even though she does not fit there, correct? She's even a step worse than, than black Republicans, which I don't understand them either. She has made a statement now that she don't think nothing else should be, uh, nothing else should be celebrated other than the he got up, he got well, we all celebrate he got up for something like 2,000 years, girl. Nothing changes that, right? So, why she always got to be piping her mouth up so she can represent the Republican Party, girl? You, you're going to be a trans person and you're going to fight with us which means you're going to have to either stop being a Republican because they hate our ass. They hate, they hate the trans and they hate the gays, right? Only time they even uh, tolerate us, like we got to be tolerated. Only time they even tolerate us if they need us for some reason. If they need a black person for, to, to speak, then they'll, 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 they'll accept that black person, uh, uh, a.k.a. Candace Owens. They always going to stick some damn house niggas up in front, right? Don't be so goddamn stupid. Now, she has had this issue since she made her transition. I'm not going to misgender the woman. As far as I'm concerned, she's a woman, right? But she has to let go of many of her old Republican ideas and recognize that those people hate your motherfucking existence. Hi, people. Child, I'm coming out of church feeling all wonderful, honey, and blessed. And you're running right about, well, here, okay, back into the world. Here we go, honey. What's wrong now? Now they're saying Joe Biden. Oh, Joe Biden, he encouraging them. He how in the fuck is he gonna encourage or discourage them? They exist, people. Just accept it. God damn. How long are you gonna stay stuck? Oh, what the words say. It's about what the words say. I've had this discussion so many goddamn times. It is sickening. What the word, what else did the word say? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just curious. What was the role, the role of a woman with this word, if the word say, right? Have you not grown up enough to know that a woman can preach God? Very skilled at it? Just as good as a male? Oh, we, that's not the role of a woman. You still want to stick to these ancient, ancient people who I've said a thousand times were in the desert wiping their ass with leaves. And you think they have all knowledge. And they can write books and tell, and then, and then we want to stick to what the book says. And their morality is constantly changing. What is the word said about uh, 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 the internet? What did the word say about drug addiction? <laughs> Hi, people. Try to get my ass back together. I was in such a good mood. Uh huh. So apparently there are more of them. Uh, this is the Republican talking point. They're going to use that. They're going to use even Easter. At the same time, they're going to let Donald Trump parade around here talking about he's a Christian and now he's selling Bibles. He done wrote his name on the Bible itself and they, they can accept that. 
Forget about grabbing people by the pussy. Forget about the rape allegations and convictions. For, 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 forget about the thieving and the lying, girl, and all the shit he does on a daily basis. Forget about 90-something, 90 90-something 90 goddamn felonies at the same time, chow. Forget about being impeached twice. Forget about all the racist shit he says, right? Right? Oh, oh, he's a man of God. Did you see him hold that Bible? Well, now he's selling them to you. You saw him hold the Bible, and now he's selling them. It'll make no sense to me to keep bottle. That's like having, uh, if they have, you know, there are some people, let's let's just use, the people don't get offended. It, it, National Midges Day. We're going to recognize and, and uh, we're going to have visibility for Midges Day, right? Why does that harm you? I mean, what does that do to you exactly? Oh, they over there honoring the midges. They over there, God love me. It's me. It's me and my chairman. It's me and stealing Jesus. Stealing Jesus Christ. I think that's the issue, honey. Uh, no, I ain't mad. I'm agitated. I'm agitated because we go right back into this uh, goddamn hate, hateful ass shit when the whole world should be celebrating what God gave us. A blood sacrifice for all. Oh. Right. I used to sit around in San Quentin State Prison and I'll be up in there with murderers and rapists and girl and people did all kind of golly. Thing. And they would be in the church tell, judging the homosexual. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute, honey. I mean, you, you're more concerned with my sex life than killing people. Have you taken a look at what goes on in the Holy Land? Murder after murder. I mean, just mayhem and all this shit that goes on, even in our own communities, child. All these goddamn murders in Chicago, all these murders in New York, and murders in California, child. People sleeping all on the goddamn street, right? And you think you think it is your 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 position is to worry about who somebody's sexuality or somebody's sexual identity, as if people in the desert six thousand years ago would know anything about a, a person's sexual identity or they uh, whatever you go change it. Their transistor. How would they know anything about a damn transgender? Who, Miss Jenner? That's uh, Chris Jenner. She used to be Chris Jenner. Now she's Caitlyn Jenner, right? So she always has to take these Republicans. She is, is is a Republican woman, I guess now, right? Which is a strange fit because I guess she has all the events that she goes to. She has to be the only one there because most trans people are not siding with. The Republican Party, a hateful ass party who will follow somebody like Donald Trump. That says a whole lot about that community, right? No one, they're not even offended that this fool come out here uh, 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 selling Bibles now, puts his name on Bibles. He going to write the, oh, it's on America. So now the Bible, so the, 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 God bless America and fuck everybody else, right? Wasn't that what he ran on, child? Right, America first, America first. Well, America, if, if if America is first for Donald Trump, then we should not have people sleeping in the streets, whether they are crazy or what you would call mentally ill, whether they are drug addicts, whether they are prostitutes, whether they are just poor people. We shouldn't have people living still on the street, Donald Trump. When you come to San Francisco, all you can talk about, oh, look at this, this Nancy Pelosi state. Look at that. Nigga, you are the president. It's your state. They're all your state. Let me calm my nerves. Y'all have a wonderful Easter. How you doing, Tracy? Uh-huh. Jacqueline, fun girl. Mm-hmm. Hi, Prima Wanda. Have a resurrection Sunday. It is for you, honey. God did it for you. Everything that happens to us that's been good, God did it. That's my, my stance on all that, right? I guess you have to know him for yourself, right? To rec I'll start crying in church today. I was having a wonderful time in church. I was supposed to be walking around with the usher to catch the people who fall out because they're so, they're so uh, emotional, right? I'm the one got emotional, child, when I think of the, the mercy of God and what he's done for me and for us that made it possible, made it possible for a 10-time loser, a hardened uh, meth addict who loved drugs. I don't ever want nobody to think, oh, you were in that life. You did, nigga. I loved doing drugs. 
right? I, God had to do surgery on the inside, right? I had to call out to the name of the Christ. I didn't even know what the Holy Spirit was. I had to call out on the name of the Christ and my world has been rocked since then. That's what you're supposed to be celebrating. And then maybe we can get the people off the goddamn street. And then maybe you can stop throwing your family members away. Oh, he's different. He's different than us. He... So why don't we add a little spice to the family, honey? Me, myself, I don't know what the hell the people back there in Indiana thought. I don't know what my family thought. I never asked them. I want to be free, honey. And that's why you have to you lose, you throw away your family members. I'm not saying my family did that to me. Frankly, I just never asked them how they thought about it, what they thought about it. I've been out here for 42 years. Simple as that, honey. But I know I've heard story after story after story. These people are choosing an ancient book over their own children. Look what I did, God. What I gonna get for this? Look what I get. I made it hard on them, on them creations. I'm on them creations. God gonna say, and who created this? Did Satan lay claim to creating homosexual people? I thought I was the creator. Right? You don't accept it? You reject it? And, and, I, and I accept you? Hmm. Supposed to be a day for celebration, honey. Mm-hmm. I did. I got to see my new nephew on FaceTime. You saw your new nephew on FaceTime? Mm -hmm. I love the little children. I love to go to church on Sunday, on Easter because they have these cute little outfits on. I just think that, that the, the men's suits, when they squished all down, <laughs> put the little hat on child. Uh-uh. And the little girls with their pink and yellow outfits. Oh. Mm -hmm. A day of celebration, honey. And I'm sorry that, that, that you are so offended because people are celebrating other things as well. Like when they have National Secre Secretary's Day, is that supposed to make me cry? What, what the hell I care? If they have a, a, a if they recognize the secretaries, don't they exist? Or maybe there are no secretaries. Girl, people have taken... People have taken God from people. I, I, it, it's heartbreaking when you see people who want nothing to do with religion at all. Right? This was the goal. So you have you have chased away millions of people from accepting the Christ and the gift of the Christ. Right? God has done an amazing thing. He has let this motherfucker go on. All your murders and all your wife beating and all your shit that we do as human beings. God has said, I'm going to fix it myself. Jesus Christ said, it is done. I fixed it. I, I, I just don't know the, how arrogant people are. They always think that, that, that I got a book in here. It's called Stealing Jesus. Stealing Jesus. Like, all this sex stuff, I've told you guys before, as a young boy, I thought that the Bible was about homosexuality. Now, that is a goddamn shame. That is pitiful. You mean to tell me, as a young person, what you're teaching your children is that the Bible is about homosexuality. Nothing more spoken of. How the hell that happened? Timothy, what the hell are you talking about? Timothy, I was born on April the 4th. Like, what? Crazy Mike, you were born on April the 4th, two days apart. You got a birthday coming up. Uh, my nephew who lives here, he was born on the 5th. But it rarely comes back to that. I don't even remember it. Of course, I was kind of busy in my life. But uh, it, it couldn't have happened more than once or twice in the last 50 years. Where it was on the same day. So they wanted you to cancel Okay, we're going to not look, don't acknowledge them today. They ain't getting no day. We're taking it away. It's stupid. Kaden and Jenny, sit your ass down somewhere, girl. If, if you uh, make a decision, girl, either you're going to be repping your community as a trans woman or you're going to be repping the Republican Party, girl. Right? I can assure you, you are in an extreme minority in the Republican Party. 
considering all the goddamn shit they're trying to do to us right now. And I, when I say us, I'm talking LGBTQ, but it is primarily at this point in history, it is primarily the trans people, right? That they're trying to destroy, trying to drive back. How are you going to drive them back into the closet? That's who they are. Happy birthday, Crazy Mike. Y'all have a good Sunday. Lord, let these monsters upset me, child. I love that song. I know it was the blood. Mm -hmm. And it was the blood, honey. People got to understand what, what, a, what a blood sacrifice is. They used to sacrifice for individual sins, right? You go out there, you kill somebody, y'all, and they bring a sheep and chop his head off. Uh, to sacrifice for your sin, right? Well, God said, li listen, I'm still sending you, Messiah, I'm sending you one person who is going to be the blood sacrifice for the sin of the planet. That's big. That is huge, honey. And he's available to every single person. Girl, I was not no saint out there in them damn streets, honey. But God saved me. God saved me. I don't steal. I don't do drugs. I don't do a whole lot of shit. I'm not obsessed with sex. A lot of shit that I used to do, it don't even occur to me no more, right? That's what you call being delivered, correct? And it wasn't because of somebody banging you over the head with, with some book, some old book, child. It's because when the spirit of God inhabits you, in other words, when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, as you believe in him, honey, it is your faith. It is your faith. Your faith is the primary, the primary gift. Correct? And he still has power. And he told you in the Bible, did you guys worship and call God? He said, I'm going to petition God. When I leave here, I'm going to petition God. I'm going to say, God, these people need help. I know I'm a human being myself, or I, I was, right? I'm going to petition God to send you a helper. Somebody's going to help you get through. Right? How many? How much music do we have to hear before we un, before we understand, honey? God did it. Right? So we're supposed to be encouraging people to believe in God. All people. You ain't better than nobody, child. Look at Donald Trump. He got all the money in the world. Say he claimed he had all the money in the world. And look at him. Look at Puff Daddy. Right? Excuse me, Puff Daddy. You ain't convicted yet. Donald Trump is. Right? When I got the notification. Now I'm sitting back. And, oh! Goonies, put your clothes on. Goody said he's sitting back naked watching Uncle Tim. Now that's nasty. Put your damn clothes on. I'm out of work. I'm out of business. <laughs> I ain't doing no more work, honey. <laughs> Uh-uh. Yeah, y'all please thumbs up the uh would you please hit the like button? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we had a wonderful service. Uh after the service, most of the people there, a lot of people at the church, our pastor is uh having a concert tonight. So they all went there. I don't, I mean, church for three and four hours is enough for me. And I usually can't go into something that's going to go all night. I know, I understand how the church is going, but I had a wonderful time in church. I particularly like it when everybody, you know, the church is full. We see old people we haven't seen in a long time and all that. So I loved it. And I saw the little kitties in the outfits. Mm -hmm. Tim, do you know that Meth Monster is sold on Walmart? What? I'll email the screenshot to you. Yes, please do, uh, Elaine. The meth monster is sold at Walmart. Y'all hear that? I hope y'all read the meth monster. It's a one-day read, but it is a memoir, and it tells you about my deliverance. I know I interject that all the time because it becomes a part of you, honey, your spiritual life, correct? Because uh, behold, all things have become new, honey, right? It's, it, it, it is huge in my life, so I can't hardly avoid it. But uh, I wrote that book, Meth Monster, I think something like 16 years ago. 
when I came to YouTube, I had sold 200 copies. Basically, people at my church or in my family were the only ones knew about it, right? When I came to YouTube, now that book has sold over 9,000 copies in audio book and uh, ebook and hard copy. So please consider picking it up. Thank you. Uh, that encourages me, Elaine. They have been in the libraries too. I'm hoping they'll make it into the prisons, right? Because that's really what the turnaround came for me when people came and gave their testimony. And they say, what happened, particularly this one guy. I mean, that man was sentenced to something like 30 years in prison. And uh, he he became a Christian in, in prison. We'll see people say, oh, that's a jailhouse. That's a jailhouse. That don't mean nothing. That's a jailhouse. That don't, no, it means everything. Because it, when you're in prison, God has your attention. Correct. If you got people got, you got family in your, I mean, you got people in your family messed up on dope or messed up on some kind of crimes and all that. A good time to contact them is when they're in prison, right? Their, their mind is clear in prison. They got nothing else to do, right? You have their undivided attention. And that's the way a lot of people get converted inside of prison, right? But when I came out of prison for the last time, I absolutely knew, guarantee, I could guarantee you, I will never do drugs again. That's something that happens on the inside. God is real, right? It ain't me, it's everybody. It's in every song. Happy Easter. How you say it? Arshila? Arshila? Arshila Rucker. Happy Easter to you as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Makes all the difference. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Well, this is Amazon Prime. I see it on the, the link you gave me goes takes me to Amazon Prime. Uh wait a minute. I'll have to do a little research and go over there to Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's an audio book as well. Yeah, even to, to, to write a book about something. How, what guarantee did I know that I was going to never do drugs again? Hell, I had done it. I've been, been out, in and out of prison 10 times. I've been in jail 30 times. 30 times in, in and out of jail. What made me think that I would never do drugs again, right? It was only after I became a Christian, a little baby Christian, honey. And I said, why would these people deprive me of this? I thought this book hated me. They had convinced me that God had a problem with me. I said, that's not the truth. I just looked and looked and looked. And then I would find something to say back in Leviticus 6,000 years ago, child. And then I had to, in order to find the next statement about homosexuality, which the word didn't even exist, I got to, let me skip ahead 600 years. What? Let me skip ahead 600 years. I don't want to talk to, oh, oh, Paul says something. Paul says something a thousand years later. And who was Paul? Paul was writing letters. Just writing letters to his congregations he's in charge of, honey. Y'all don't know. Oh, he's in the book. He's in the book. This he a God. I'm sorry, Lord. I know. I got to walk the tightrope between religion and spirituality. Spirituality is much more important than religion. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back in, uh, Elaine. Let me see. You got another link. Let's see. I just want to see it. Oh, 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 there I am. The meth monster. Well, if you get it, it's $15.99 Walmart. Uh, if you get it, it's got a different cover on there. Then it's got some chains being broken. But I don't wrote nine books since then. I think this new book that I'm working on is going, it's going in a spiritual way. It's fiction, of course, but it's still like uh uh, when I wrote uh, Love and Gospel Music, that was an extremely spiritual book. It contained a lot of, of what my perception of spirituality is, even though it was fiction. So there can be truth in fiction, your personal truth. Mm. Thanks, Elaine. Any of y'all got small cheering? Did you get the Bobby socks? <laughs> oh, and then ye the yellow dress or the pink? Hmm.
What else is going on? Y'all ain't saying very much. Everything that happens to me that's been good, God did it. Yes, he did. Oh, oh, oh. everything that happened to me that's been good, the Lord did it. Once I was lost, caught up in a world of sin, Jesus came on, took me on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love old gospel too. I did find a new favorite song. It's been out for eight years, but uh, I just discovered it today. And I've been playing it all day. Let me see if it's on here. It's called Worth. Y'all heard that song, Worth? I can't let you hear it because they demonetize me. Just like I said yesterday, they were going to demonetize me for playing, uh, playing uh, uh, Larry Reed's little jingle. His diss track, yep, they call it shared, shared monetization or some shit like that. I knew that was coming. Mm -mm. Be quiet. So the song is called Worth. Check it out. I can't play it for you. Let me play it on here. I'm gonna, let me see. I mean, I must have played that song 20 times today. Uh, it spoke the sentiments of my heart. So if I play it on here, y'all can't hear it. So I should be okay. Uh, one more second. The singer's name is Anthony Brown. If y'all hear any parts of this, let me know so I can turn it off. Hey! Wait a minute. I hear it. I get it. I hope y'all can't hear me. I was worth saying. You came into my life. You thought I was worth. I was worth keeping. You thought I was worth. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish I would, uh, I could let y'all hear the music. It's called Worth by Anthony, Anthony Brown. You thought I was worth saving and you came into my life. I'll know about next week. Y'all won't be able to shut me up. Mm. What are you trying to? Body shame me. I ain't trying to body shame you, Goonies. You come over here talking about you in here naked looking at Uncle Tim. What you looking at? Looking at you, what you looking at me for? <laughs> put your draw, put your drawers on. Shit, I'm acting like uh Kelly Love. Hey, Raphael. What's going on, Art Raphael uh Hardwick? I ain't seen you in a minute. Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Did any of y'all go to church? Y'all ain't said nothing about it. Thanks for the sermon. <laughs> oh, I, I went into one. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Because uh, giving people little rooms and so forth is, is, is not going to change their world, really. It will get the people off the street, right? I mean, I don't think anybody wants their neighborhoods to, to, to walk out. You got to walk over people. Or see if people shoot up. So all all society benefits by people not be, being homeless. But uh, to uh, to really cause a change, it's got to be something inside the person. Correct. I know. Uh, I know the history of my mama. When I was young, I ain't gonna say she was an evil woman. But I'm just gonna say she had her ways, right? <laughs> and then uh, when she found the Lord, I, I was still in my twenties. Changed her whole personality. So I had that to look back to. I said, well, this, I know several people like this. You know, everybody in the family goes to church. We even have pastors and ministers in, in our, our family kind of thing, right? Uh, this makes a difference in people's lives, honey. So God is real, real right now. It ain't just about reading a book and memorizing a book. 
You ask somebody about by God, they're going to tell you a passage. Well, well that was the, the, the thoughts of that person, you know, uh, 6,400 years ago. I don't want to hear about what he said. I want to know what you say about God. Right? A personal relationship. That's what he wants from all of us. That's where we it, we all we get into trouble when we try to start making everybody else think like we think. And it's not going to work. It has never worked, honey. Mm. Let me see what you say. I love Uncle Tim Tell. Yeah, you better tell your own truth, honey. You are overcome by your testimony, baby. I will not be ashamed of the gospel. That's why I gotta watch my mouth. I gotta be careful when I'm when I'm saying things about the Bible because the Bible is a great book. I mean, it, it brings you to Christ. It brings you to an understanding of why I should believe in this. Why? Here's here's what happened. I don't believe in worshiping the things that happened, but I do honor the things that happened, right? And so, uh, yeah, when I was in the pain is where I, where I found the Lord. Mm -hmm. I say, God, why didn't people tell me that this homosexuality was all through the Bible? Why didn't they just tell me it was, it was only in two paragraphs, three paragraphs total in, in, in 2,000 pages? Why was it necessary? Because people have constantly got to believe that they are better than somebody else. Why do you care if somebody goes to heaven or hell, honey? It's not your business. It is not your business. See, I'm already in heaven. You know why I'm in heaven? Because God has already, he's already uh, invaded my life, right? I'm already a believer. He's already delivered me from not one thing. Girl, I just talk about that one thing because that's the main thing. But there have been so many times I have been directed and led, correct? So I'm already with God. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do with me. I don't care. It's up to him. I trust him. Mm -hmm. Let me try to get off religion. You a half a white boy now, Goonies? Goonies, you what you call too many things. Are you too many things? Did you buy the new grandbaby I, I first out Easter outfit? It better be looking cute. Mm -hmm. You can't even walk by a baby without. Ooh, she, ooh, she. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. They're so cute. You had to work, Sandra. Well, you know, God lives inside of us. He's wherever you are, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was uh, just about to, okay. Y'all heard now. Goonies, on, on, come over and talk about you, how, you, how straight you are and you sit up here naked looking at Uncle Tim. Right? <laughs> oh, start no stuff, man. They already seen you shirtless. Oh, did you bless them with a shirtless move? Were they all looking at you, Goonies? Like Jay Williams shit? They all look at him. He damn near 100 years old. <laughs> Y'all know something funny? On the same day that I announced, which was yesterday, uh, yesterday, yeah, that I was going to start taking Ozempic. I had been prescribed Ozempic. This fool was over there, and I guess it's just coincidence. But she's over there. She's taking the other one, the other weight loss drug. He announced it the same damn day. Mm, somebody told me about that, and I went over there and checked it out. Not Ozempic, some other thing. Mm. It might be the future, baby. We may, we might all stop dealing with this weight stuff. Because if it is successful as they say it is, then there's going to be hundreds of copycats, more than likely. Not hundreds, but a lot. They ain't passing up that money, honey. Them phar pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you are Italian and black? Goonies, you uh, you what you call too many things, huh? I can't keep up. You was just Jason, Justin a, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> uh, my gosh, Uncle Tim has the worst memory ever. 
at least the short short term memory. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get your chance. Just hold on. You'll see. Hold on a little bit. He's he's not gonna forget that, Justin. <laughs> He was a whole different person a couple of months ago. Uh, oh, she wasn't too happy after about 30 seconds taking pictures with the Easter money. She said, I don't like that money. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> yeah. He's a monster. Mm. The Easter money. Bless that heart. And y'all bless when y'all can raise children. Hell, that's a blessing. Women, y'all be proud of that, honey. You can bring life into the world. Mm -hmm. Built-in responsibility. I never had a desire to have children, though. I think that's uh, that's just part of who I am, honey. If, if I was intended to have children, I would I would have had a desire to have them. But I think it's a great a, a great thing to be as a parent. So talk to about my be <laughs> uh Goonies. Now, why are these things important? You have already complimented about my physique, and you also talked about my being biracial and fair skinned. Well, Goonies, I mean, God bless you, brother. But I don't know how important it is to me. I don't give a damn about what color you are, man. You know, I'm glad you're fair skinned. I'm glad you're biracial. I'm glad you're half Italian. I mean, I'm glad you're whoever you are, man. Just be you. You do you, boo. My problem is where people start criticizing other people, right? Damn, can I let my guard down for a day and say, okay, I can recognize that trans people exist. What? Why? Why, why is that so painful for me? But it, it ain't in the word. It ain't, I, I can't find it in the word. Ye effeminate, effeminate. Mm -hmm. You need to take the gift of God, honey, and live, right? You only get a certain amount of time on this planet. I'm sure that God wants you sit, sit, doesn't want you to spend that time hating on other people or trying to prove that you're something that you're not. You're not special. You're a human being like everybody else, and everybody deserves to be respected. Everybody needs to have a place where they can go to the restroom when it's time. Because, why? Because they're a person. It is a part of the function of a person. Put down your hatred and just be a decent person. So they mad at, they mad at Uncle Joe because they don't want Uncle Joe to acknowledge trans people. I guess you want them to take away their holiday. Mm. Goonies, stop all this damn posting. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop all that posting, man. Trying to talk to some of the other cheering. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy Easter, Miss Alfreda. Mm -hmm. See, Alfreda, I'm so glad you didn't go nowhere. Remember, at one point you said you were gonna leave the beef sector, but you ain't going nowhere. I'm so happy about that. Uh huh. He's not going to forget that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Easter Bunny with piercing eyes. Easter Bunny can be scary. Y'all see how they make them scary movies, honey. They have Easter Bunnies. <laughs> they have clowns. I don't know why they want always want these clowns to be in the horror movies. Mm. Hi, Ronnie Q. Happy Easter. Happy Easter for all you wonderful souls, honey. Y'all know any good uh, gospel music? I can't think. Of it. I got a total blank. Besides the blood. Mm -hmm. Something about the name Jesus. Something about that name. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweet, sweet name. I know. I remember Rance. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love that name. I'm so far behind. 
Goonies, I wish you stopped taking up all the space, man, so I can let somebody else talk. So what they talking about over there? They they're all going off because who's this woman? Uh, the the uh, uppity. What's her name? Uppity black black goddess or something? Uppity Negro goddess. She was apparently her and uh, Honest Roll got into it. Apparently, she's a moderator of Honest Roll, and she's uh, taking over his channel because of the people she don't like or whatever. Let me see if I can see any of it. Uh, I don't. I, I just can't do them panels, honey. I'm too old for all that hollering. I got to, you. Got to be able to hear what I'm saying. I guess they stopped talking about it. Miss Wilson over there talking about. He got his. <laughs> he got his name. He got his ass in everybody's business. And then when the people come on there and want to ask him a question, he blocks them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let you on my platform. I'm not gonna let you on my platform. Block, block, he block, block, he block. Why did you ask me that question? Why did you ask me? I said, girl, you are sitting here talking an hour and a half about this woman and on his road, child. Ain't that somebody else's business? Can't nobody ask you a question? I only got one question. If I was reduced, to, okay, Timothy Blaine, you can only ask uh, Pastor, Bishop, Usher. Uh, Jay Wilson, one question, right? All I want to know is, did you make that mortgage? That's very interesting to me for some reason, Jay Wilson, right? I saw you was on there again talking about degrees, talking about how people's houses look like uh, Fred Stanford house, right? All this shit about your house, girl. When we just discovered that you, you were in a hood house and you ain't made the payments, that was only a month ago, girl. And you're right back now, Jay Wilson. You would think you ain't got nothing to say about no goddamn house until you catch up on the payments. So all I want to know is, are you making the bill? Because your videos are not even bringing a thousand views, girl. A thousand views is somewhere between seven dollars and twelve dollars, right? You can't even make, you can't even get that. And so you're making five and six and seven videos again, girl, right? It's not a good look, Jay Wilson. What are you teaching the children? Oh, go get the degrees. Go get the. And the people are saying. Why would I do that? I mean, show me something, some reason, some motivation. Uh oh, you better focus in on that damn mortgage. I think you might be focused on it since you're on, what are you on five times today, Jay Williamson? Four videos today on Easter Sunday? Mm -hmm. That's all I want to know. He's still over there worried about people's payments. And who what, 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 they got food stamps and all this other shit that they got. Girl, what do you got, Jay Wilson? God damn, focus on your own business, girl. Right? We already know, Miss Thing, that you only you all them degrees you got, girl, you, that you got student loans for them, girl, and you and you got deferred payments for them, Miss Thing. You went right from that to get a hood house, Miss Thing, and you fell behind continually on the hood loan, girl. And we also know that you haven't paid the HOA since since 2019. So why? Jay Wilson. Why are you still trying to rat other people about their income, about their living conditions? Why? What are you trying to prove, girl? I don't tell my business. I don't tell my business. Yeah, we have to hear about your degrees hundreds and hundreds of times. Isn't that your business, girl? I mean, we got to hear about that goddamn track house, that hood track house, girl. How many times have we heard about that? You're still talking about it, but you don't tell your business. You pick and choose like you pick and choose in the Bible. What you? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she over there blocking people because they asked her a damn question. Well, what the hell? What, why do you go to seminary if you can't answer a question about spiritual issues, uh, Jay Wilson? What is the point, honey? Oh, oh, they think you both to go to school. Uh, I, I went to school to be educated. I wanted to better myself. Well, what is the betterment? If you can't answer a goddamn question about simple as uh, kindergarten questions about, about spirituality, girl, what was the point, Jay Wilson? You certainly didn't use it for no kind of employment, girl, right? You said it ain't about no employment. They don't understand about the, getting the education and the degree. This thing, if it's not about getting a job, or it's not about securing an income for yourself, what is it good for, Jay Wilson, right? 
All you want to do is come on YouTube and be a messy bitch, correct? And anytime anybody asks you anything about anything serious, you take it personally and you block them, correct? So if you're not using education to have a, a, a discourse, girl, what was the point? I mean, I, I'm just sorry. I mean, I just feel like it's got to be said, Jay Wilson. You're making a fool out of yourself, girl. But I know, I personally know that the only reason you are sitting up here blocking people and just come over here saying all this stupid ass shit, girl, all of the people's business and all that, this thing is all because you really consider $12, $7 to $12 money, which, which exposes you to what you are, trash. Correct? You're going to come over here five, six, seven times so you can stack up. Okay, that's 12, that's eight, that's it. Oh, 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 I'm making money. I'm making money. <laughs> now she's bragging about all the time she ripped y'all off. Lord have mercy. Uh, -uh. He said he doesn't bring home any less than $800 with his video. As a, that is a, uh, uh, Sh Sh Shanma. Is it called Shanma? Shan Shonda. Shonda, that is a goddamn lie. He's reduced the number, apparently, because he did say that he was making $2,000 a month on YouTube. Correct? He was making $2,000 a month. So now he said he never makes less than $800 on his videos. Really? Well, I come on uh, pretty regularly, an hour at a time, girl, four or five days a week, Miss Thing. I ain't getting $800 a month from YouTube. Why is he so different? And why is his numbers? Because when you look at his videos, you say, well, that only got like 600 views. That one got 800 views. You might think that's, that's quite a few of views, but it's, no, it's nothing. It's zero. If you if, if a thousand views only brings you seven to twelve dollars, Tal, how much does a, a 600 views get? That's what he's getting now. He's he's struggling trying to get a thousand. If the thing stays up for five days, he'll get up to a thousand uh, uh, views, Tal. He's getting no money from here at all. So why is it necessary for him to come over here talking about how he make it? He never gets less than eight hundred dollars. You are, uh, never get less than eight hundred dollar lie, nigga. Talk to a fool. Mm -hmm. That's probably the highest he ever got. And that then he always bragging about how after they fired his ass. <laughs> the bitch trying to put a spell on me. Mm -hmm. After he fired his ass, he keep now he wants to keep getting bragging right there. Oh, I, I, uh, oh, they gave me three thousand dollars. I got three thousand dollars from him, right? So they fired you on a Sunday, right? You went to begging on that same Sunday, and you're bragging that you got three thousand dollars from these people, even though you said. That you never even lost a job, they just transferred you somewhere else, right? You saying that you didn't even miss the paycheck, right? But you saying that you got those people for three thousand dollars. I'll tell you the truth, now, unless it's some kind of a magical a coincidence. I said you got three thousand dollars on that day, and I had no knowledge of how much money you had. Isn't it strange how now you are bragging that I got three thousand dollars that day? I got three. I said, "What, girl? I remember. I'm the one that said you got three. Oh, what are you trying to get? Three thousand dollars?" I said that, right? Why is it necessary to lie about all these numbers, Jay Wilson? We know you didn't get no $800, girl, because you barely been on here, girl. Remember, you took a whole month off, Miss Thing, because they knocked you beside your goddamn head, bitch. Right? And you ran like a bitch. And when you came back, you still ain't got, you still ain't getting numbers. Oh, oh, I used to, oh, in my heyday. Oh, in my heyday, I used to. Never even acknowledge that these people who you bragging about your heyday and all the scams you ran, all the money you got out of these people, girl. These are the same people you're talking to. Right? We can see you, you ain't getting no goddamn super chat. Correct? We don't hear no goddamn uh, 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 cash apps going off because you always eager to brag about that. Woo! 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 So we know you ain't getting none of that, girl. So how you getting $800, Miss Thing? Where it come from? Out your ass? When I was when I was uh driving Uber, when I was nigga, you still driving Uber because nobody else will hire you, Jay Wilson, right? Uh, uh, don't forget how you came on here. Remember, you came on here talking about, oh, I just lost the job. I just lost the job. I'm gonna get an interview with Gray Hale. Gray Hale gonna call. Him. I got an interview with Gray Hale. Y'all pray for me. Pray, for girl. You've been essentially been in that same position. Since then, 
you still ain't got no job. But yet you're the one that comes on and talking about people not having jobs, girl. You're crazy. You are crazy, Jay Wilson. And so now you don't mind talking about this woman with no teeth. What's her name? Up at the whatever her name is, child. Oh, you want to talk about you, you don't realize when you start bringing up people getting their children removed and all that kind of shit, that puts it in the atmosphere that gives people the idea to call these people. You saw they just took out one who was just calling people at random. Oh, I'm gonna call the FBI. I'm calling the, the, the social security. I'm calling the, everybody calling everybody, right? But yet you are so cavalier about throwing out the idea of people calling people, right? Who shot the caller? At, did who shot the fucking Jay Wilson? Oh, no, no. Stop worrying about other people's shit, girl. Do they have a roof over their head? Praise God. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about trans playing in female sports? Uh, I just don't have an opinion about it. I haven't thought about it, uh, uh, Re Ray. I would think that naturally a male is, I mean, emotionally, they, they could probably compete, but a male body is just stronger than a woman's body. But now these people who are competing, these are very strong women as well. I mean, there, there are women bodybuilders. But to be honest, I just haven't thought about it very much. It, it seems like they should have their own uh, competitions. But I just don't think there's enough trans people around to uh, to have have their own league. So they just be blocked out of both of them. Right. I, I just don't like pick, picking on the little people, though. I just don't. I think you should have, if you're a decent person, you should have some compassion for people who are, be, who are being uh, uh, abused or neglected or killed. Right? Now, I'm fortunate because I live in San Francisco where trans people, they can work in the market. They can work everywhere. I mean, they have jobs and so forth. But so many places where it's very hard for them to find employment. And a lot of these people, they don't want to use the bathroom. They say, go shit in the bushes. Is, is that a decent person? Is that a thinking person even? Mm -hmm. Did uh, did you get a chance to look at the Nickelodeon documentary, Uncle Tim, like the person referred you to? Somebody referred me to that, Goonies, but I never, ever look at stories about child molesters, child killers, serial murderers. I just don't like that. So. No, that's not something that would interest me, right? Apparently, that, that story about uh, these people being abused in show business, it wouldn't be very interesting. It wouldn't hold my interest because it involves children. I, I, I just hate the whole subject. You know, so, so the answer is no. I don't want to see that. Sometimes you're watching fiction even, and they got people getting their kids kidnapped. I said, why you got involved with the kids and all this stuff? I mean, they're so wonderful just to be kids. They keep bringing them into these adult conversations. So uh, I'm sure that's it. That's interesting to a lot of people, particularly people who are raising kids themselves, but not for me. What's going on, AT2? AT2 superstar, happy Easter. So there's more breaking news on AT2 about the uh, Diddy situation. Boy, that dude. <laughs> God damn. They got a new story every day about him. Okay, and this is on a Sunday. So the real news ain't going to break until Monday and get back to work. Now the F the, these uh, federal agencies, they don't want to look like fools. They're going to have to do something. They can't just raid people and just forget about it. So I'll be sure and all this stuff. I, I, I've been following a little bit because it's 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 all so all over the place, but really, uh, I think the next move with with Diddy is going to be some kind of arrest, some kind of charges. Mm -hmm. Same thing with uh, uh, what's the dude in New York, Bishop Whitehead, Bishop, Bishop <laughs> uh, Whitehead. We were just waiting to see if he got convicted, but now he is convicted. So the next move is going to be him in handcuffs. So I follow stories in that way, you know, the main stories. But the day by day, I don't do. 
Yes, it's so many twists and turns and Diddy. Yes. Some of the girls get excited too, honey. It's a hot story. <laughs> so that kid, uh, I'll be sure son looks just like him though. Uh, I didn't know that his son was being raised by, by Diddy though. They had to. Uh, depends on how long uh, trans have been on hormones. It depends on how long they've been on hormones. Yeah, they're still probably stronger than, than uh, natural born girls. I don't know if it's, is it going to be a test to test their strength. Do all sports require a physical strength? I think that would play into it as well. Now, I've met some very, very feminine uh, trans people, correct? So, I mean, they should be able to, to, to compete somewhere. They can't compete with the men. The men ain't going to allow that. And then the women don't want to allow it. Then what do they do? It's like the same thing with the restroom. I mean, what, what do I do? Just bring a bucket around with me, piss in the street? Yeah, I, I understand, Sandra. Your kids used to watch the shows, so that would be their celebrities. I, I can dig it. I never watched any of that. Nickelodeon in that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're more than likely going to find out that he's not as rich as he pretends. Same thing with just like Trump. He ain't got no money. What was the last on Biddy? Diddy? He owes like $150 million in mortgages alone. He got all them huge ass. I mean, most people have a mortgage on a house, but $150 million. That's like 150 mansions. <laughs> of course, in California, you know, you, a mansion is probably running you three or four, three or four million, but uh, 150 million? Yeah. So we have to wait to see what's going on with that too. He probably doesn't own really own anything. But the man does have jets and he has been at it a long, long, long time. But if he's like Trump, they, they do everything on credit. I saw the feds though, when they went to that house, they showed the, the safes open. So they they got up, they got a whole lot of shit. And if he's filming everything like a dumbass uh R. Kelly, they got a lot of evidence. Now, I'm still not clear, though. Well, when Cassie came out, it was very clear she should have got that money. He was really, he really abused her horribly. But all these other cases that are coming out, uh, he flirted with me or some kind of shit like that, y'all. Uh-uh, you're going to have to bring something heavy. So what are they looking for? I, I just knew that when they first raided him, they're going to have uh, naked women coming out the house or some, some kind of shit like that, right? They were going to be charges. They're going to arrest somebody. So I, I don't know. It could be political. Not with politics, but just with his some of his rivals. Uh, I don't know. Capitalizing on the situation. I don't feel for him. That, that situation with Cassie, that, that kind of abuse, I, I can tolerate that. Hell no. I, ain't got, I got nothing but love for you, baby. Now they're going after his debts and mortgages. Right. Well, the Fed has all kinds of departments that all they do is go over, you know, the finances with a fine tooth. So we're going to know everything. Anyway, people, anyway, I came over here talking about Easter. I'm about the blood. Be grateful, honey. Be grateful just be grateful talk to y'all in the week thanks for coming in and happy easter people later